28th, 2016. Hey. In what we would call a uh, semi cloudy day today. I'm feeling it. In Fitchburg. It's Preston's favorite time of year with the weather. Mm -mm. Not time of year, but I enjoy this weather. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Shout out to clouds. They're the real heroes out there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, so, what's your favorite time of year then? I like an autumn. Yeah. Yes, an autumnal season is my favorite. I there you say. go. You know? Mm -hmm. yeah. I love all the seasons. Okay. And. You're in the right part of the country then, because we get them all. You're the Debbie Downer. <laughs> no, I feel great. Summer. <laughs> I was just saying how much I enjoyed the weather today. You were the one saying, oh, it's kind of cloudy out there. Remember? <laughs> you were there. Yeah, I was, there. I heard it. <laughs> yeah. Everybody was there. <laughs> you were there, We too. need some sun back here. That's what we need. I don't know. We'll More see. Sun. Yeah. Well, I, th I think we have some forecast talking a little bit later in the okay. show, so we got that. Uh, mm -hmm. Morning, everybody. Uh, today's show is a very timely show, as I would oh. like to say. Very timely. Okay. So we're going to talk about what's happening at the uh, library tomorrow with our big uh, big celebration. That's right. The big five. <sighs> That's a tough, tough age. Very it is. Tough age, yeah. I know. So, uh, yeah, get excited for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, later, we weren't able to get the uh, social workers in today. From they got the, a lot going on today. Yeah, they're, they're very busy ladies down Indeed. there. So instead, uh, we were working up on the story of the solar lights that were installed. Or not solar lights, wow. I wrote, LED. I wrote solar lights in here, but I meant to say LED lights mm. on uh, Fish Hatchery Road and uh, McKee Road. So Fancy. we've got that to talk about today as well. Good deal. I Sweet. like it. Yeah. Okay. Do we even dare ask you what's in uh, PB and J? Dare we ask? No. Nope. Dare we ask? <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at me with a blank stare. We'll have PB and J as well. It'll be there at the end It'll of the show. There. All right, Preston, set us up with that library stuff tomorrow. All right. Well, yeah, we've been talking about it. So, library is going to be having their fir or their fifth birthday celebration that's First going up fifth. tomorrow, uh, starting at 9:30 a.m. Uh, and they're going to have some free uh, donuts and coffee, so you can come over, grab some snacks. They're going to have some giveaways, and then throughout the day, they have a, a whole bunch of different activities going on: uh, story time, 3D printer demos, planetarium shows, and uh, we will be there running a photo booth. So come on over, get your picture take, get your picture taken, check out some 3D printers, learn about the stars above, and enjoy some great snacks, and you know, support the library. Coming up next uh, in the digest, too, we're going to actually talk with Kate Hall from the Fitchburg Public Library via phone today. All righty. She'll set us up for all the great things happening there tomorrow. Good deal. So be there, be square. All right, attention business owners and managers, that's you. You are encouraged to attend the Verona Road Project Stage 1 business meeting coming up tomorrow. Today. Today. <laughs> says tomorrow. To today. Yeah, it is the 28th today. <laughs> My bad. From 10 a.m. to noon. At the field office located at 25 Kessel Court in Madison, is a great opportunity to ask questions about the current and final Stage 1 plans of the Beltline and Midvale Boulevard, including business access and the construction schedule. If you can't attend this meeting, contact Verona Road Project staff with your questions and, or concerns via the link. The link being, what did you say yesterday, like 511? You can check the 511 and yeah. then projects and Verona Road. Yeah. So there you go. There you go, indeed. Find out all about it. <laughs> Find out more. All right, so coming up, we actually have a, a few eventually. We'll have some more ribbon coatings come up, but I want to let you know about this first one. On July 13th, uh, the Elon Apartments ribbon cutting from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, so the Elon Apartments are completed and ready for you to move in, they say. That, so they're celebrating with a ribbon cutting event and tours. So if you need a tour, this is a good time for you. The event starts at 4 p.m. with the ribbon cutting taking place at 4.15, and then they're going to have tours for at 4.35 and 5.30, and they'll have uh, light appetizers and beverages there too. So if you're interested, you know, maybe you're apartment hunting, good opportunity, check it out. Sounds like a fun event. Indeed. I'm sure we'll be there. Yes, me too. I'm sure of it. All right, Boys and Girls Club, uh, they have their uh, Bike for Boys and Girls Club, uh, and they're asking you to bring your family, friends, coworkers, neighbors together for a fun-filled ride through the picturesque Dane County on a one summer morning. That happens every year. Pledges raised to support the ongoing mission of the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County to provide programs that inspire and enable our youth to realize their full potential. Hundreds of riders will pedal their way across the finish line and into the post-ride party of cold drinks and even colder yep. custard. Everybody likes custard. Yeah, who doesn't? Yeah, the ride brought over 1,500 bike uh, riders and volunteers last year, yeah. so uh, pretty cool. And the options are an 8-mile, 25-mile, or 50-mile route. Hmm. Everyone will finish at the after-party after ride at McKee Farms Park. Nice. So 
And I want to say, cool. Michael Johnson of the Boys and Girls Club was the presenter at uh, Business Before Nine uh, at the beginning of this month. So if people want to, he talked a little bit about this event there. So if you want to check that out, we have that on Fact TV. So you can check that out and learn more. Yeah, hopefully we can get him on the show to preview this event. It'd be nice. Yeah. All right. Clean water projects. Yes. They're crucial. So uh, Urban Water Quality Grant Program, Jeremy, that's what this one's called. And the grants are available to help local communities construct stormwater management facilities. These basins capture trash and phosphorus-laden debris, such as yard or pet waste from urban areas that would otherwise wash directly into area lakes and streams during heavy rains or snow melt. $1.4 million is available through the grant program this year. Uh, and then we have a little bit of a, a quote here from Dane County Executive Joe Parisi is says our lakes, rivers, and streams are incredibly valuable resources and integral part of our economy and quality of life. By working together with our local communities, we are able to get more done and stop more pollutants from getting into our waters, end quote. Thank you. End quote. Was not ready for that. All right, uh, now we're gonna switch uh, to more of the uh, Wisconsin news, if you will. Sure. And uh, today, uh, if you're going maybe towards the east, and you take on uh, some beach action. This might be just your day to go out to the beach yeah, on a cloudy definitely. day. Uh, they want to warn you today from the National Weather Service that uh, it could be hazardous out there swimming today if mm. you were going to try. Uh, so here's a beach hazard statement for you, and I'll just read you what it said. This is pretty, uh, pretty intense information here. Structural currents from along piers uh, where longshore currents and wave actions flow into a structure. Structural currents can sweep you out into deeper water, also known as? A riptide. Rip currents. Dang Look it. out. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> be careful out there today that those currents are very strong, uh, plus high uh, wave action as well. So large waves and da dangerous currents are expected. So uh, if you want to check out all the beaches and affected, oh wait, it's like from about half of the state south. Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to Lake Michigan side of things today. So just be aware out there. They had a photo from this morning uh, on one of the beach cameras mm -hmm. and the waves look pretty intense already. All right. Waves, we're talking waves in Lake Michigan. Yeah, pretty crazy indeed. And last but not least, how about some calm weather, calm weather, Preston? Yeah, well, high pressure. What do you have to say about it? It brings quiet weather, Jeremy. That's what I hear. Why don't you take it away? You're the expert. I'm no expert. I pretend to be an expert. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just high pressure is keeping the humidity down and the weather quiet. I love it. We like a little quiet weather here and there, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, it's just continuing to be a very, very nice week, uh, you know, here in Fitchburg and across the state. So, yeah. so it's going to be a little bit cooler today. And then it looks like it says highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Uh, and then look for a warm up on Wednesday and Thursday with highs in the 70s or maybe low 80s. So there you go. Next chance for showers or thunderstorms will be on Thursday as a cold front approaches, Jeremy. Wow. So you know what you're talking about. That's right. All right, we need to take a quick break, and why I ask him where his meteorology degree is, you can take this opportunity to get up, get a cup of coffee, and come on back here for Fitchburg Digest. We're going to hear from the Fitchburg Public Library next on their birthday celebration.